So you've noticed an ammonia spike in your aquarium. How do you deal with it? Let's talk about it. Subscribe to my channel. Hey everyone, welcome back to Bob Moss Nano Tanks. Hope you're all having a good day. Hope you don't actually have an ammonia spike and you're just here for the uh, casual knowledge. But if you do have an ammonia spike, don't worry. I got the solution for you. Before I get into it, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, guys, and like this video if you can. It really, really helps me out. Okay, so I'm going to skip all the stuff before this and just get to the point where you have noticed there's an ammonia spike in your tank. There are a few causes of that, like overfeeding, deaths in your tank, whether that's shrimp or fish. They're both ammonia bombs. Having snail deaths won't really cause an ammonia spike unless like all your snails die at once. Generally, unless you have those big snails, there's always an exception. But yeah, we're going to get to the point. You've measured there's an ammonia spike. What do you do? Don't panic. It's really simple. First thing you're going to do is go and get your dechlorinator that binds ammonia. You're going to make sure it's a type that binds ammonia. There are some out there that don't do that. So make sure that yours does that. I personally like using Prime. It not only binds ammonia, but it binds the nitrate and the nitrite and heavy metals, things like that, toxins. It's a really, really good dechlorinator. Uh, it is kind of expensive though. There are alternatives that are like the same thing that are probably cheaper, but I'm a sellout and I just went for that because it's easy. Okay, so you have that. With Prime, you can go up to a five times dose safely. So with Prime, it's one milliliter of that per 10 gallons of water. So you can safely dose up to five milliliters. I wouldn't do that right away. I would start with say a double dose, maybe two milliliters per the 10 gallon, just to make sure that everything's you know safe and that it gets everywhere. And yeah, better safe than sorry, right? Okay, so you have the dechlorinator in. Now here's a little added step. I don't actually have this product. A lot of people do. It's uh, a thing called stability. Or if you have any type of beneficial bacteria product, dose that at the recommended amount. Uh, I don't think you can actually overdose those. It might do bad things to the tank. So something like Seachum Stability will provide the beneficial bacteria to help process that ammonia a little bit faster. There are other products like that on the market. I'm not going to list them all. Maybe I'll put some on the screen here here or something. I don't know. Maybe I will. I'll probably have to now. <laughs> okay. And finally, you're going to do a water change. If you're a shrimp keeper like me, you're not going to do anything more than like a 25%. If you have fish, you can probably do like a 50, maybe even a 75% water change, depending on the ammonia level. You know, if it's just like one part per million, a smaller water change is fine. But if it's spiked up to like five parts per million, you want to get a bunch of that water out of there. You want to bring the ammonia levels down so that your bacteria can process it because if it is say five parts per million that could actually do some bad things to your cycle so after that you're going to wait if you're a fish keeper you're going to wait at least a day to do more water changes if you're a shrimp keeper i would advise waiting you know at least three or four days you just you don't want to do too many water changes because bad things can happen and make sure you're dripping the water back in during your water changes if you're a shrimp keeper guys you're going to be doing the dosing of the prime the dechlorinate or something like that you're going to be doing that every day you could probably do the stability every day or every other day i'm not sure what the packaging says but you're going to be doing that just to keep it safe keep it binded keep it detoxified so that it doesn't harm your livestock your fish your shrimp etc while you're dosing that and waiting and I mean, you're going to be doing water changes every now and then. You're still going to be testing your tank. You're going to be watching those levels go down. Hopefully, what happens to me, I had an ammonia spike a couple months ago, and what happened to me was I did the water change, I dosed the prime, I did daily prime dosing, and I just watched the cycle happen. I'm not exactly sure what caused the ammonia spike, but there was a big ammonia spike in this tank before I put the green jades in, and I had to deal with that actually as I was drip acclimating the green jades is when I noticed that there was ammonia spike. I just decided to test the parameters and it just so happened to be an ammonia spike. So yeah. All right, that's it guys. It's actually pretty simple. It's nothing to worry about. Just be patient, take your time, follow the three steps here. And most importantly is just don't panic. So leave a comment below if you have any questions or comments, maybe how you deal with ammonia spikes. Did I miss anything? I probably missed something. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, guys. And remember, keep your shrimp pan strong. Till next time, bye-bye now.
Let's hope this works. Please work. Um, shit. Before I get into it, make sure to like and subscribe. Wait, no. Before I get into it, make sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, guys, and leave a comment below if you have any questions on how to deal with things. Wait, that's gonna be at the end. Maybe there was a death or two, maybe, you know, something, something's wrong in your tank. Blah, 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 blah. Start over. First thing you're gonna do is go and get some, some, oh, yeah. I better have been, okay, I was recording, oh, man.